Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. In exactly 12 days, I'm gonna be traveling to California to play one of the top pickleball players in the world. Only problem, I've never played the sport. So I decided to hire the best pickleball player I know, my dad. Me? Yeah. Am I getting paid for this? You're not getting paid for this, but ah. if, you, if you do a good job, I'll buy you lunch. Okay, that sounds good. This is a volley. Okay? You can't volley from inside the kitchen. Where did they come up with the name Pickleball? This family was out in Oregon somewhere. They invented Pickleball, and Pickleball was, it was the name of their dog. His name was Pickleball? Pickle, <laughs> pickle! <laughs> oh, pickle! <laughs> For the next hour, my dad and Bill taught us the fundamentals of how to play pickleball. At the end of the day, for fun, we decided to play a couple practice matches where things did not go well for me and Steve. Oh! <laughs> All right, practice number one is done. We've got 11 days now until we play the pro. What do you think? I don't know! Oh, I think we're ready. <laughs> they have no confidence in us. I thought we were great. Let me talk about this professional pickleball player that I'm playing in 11 days. So his name is Sam Query. Now, not only is he one of the best pickleball players in the world, he also used to be one of the best tennis players in the world. 15 years ago, me and my dad went to the US Open and we actually got to meet Sam Query. This is a picture of me and Sam. By the way, somehow I'm 16 years old in this picture. Anyway, he was super nice. It made my entire day. For the next week, we played pickleball almost every single day. And while my dad and his friends still got the best of us, <laughs> we actually started learning the game and getting better and better. I'm telling you, man, I think I might beat him. Yeah, maybe if we replace his paddle with one of my flip-flops. On day 10, I went to my parents' house for a little training session with the practice paddle. The practice paddle is basically one-third the size of a normal pickleball paddle, and it's supposed to get you used to hitting the ball more consistently. That is the end of our training. In two days, we fly to California to play one of the best pros in the world. So tomorrow's the big day. Now, like I said, Sam Query is a high-level elite athlete. I mean, this guy literally played in the Olympics like 10 years ago. So if I want a chance to win, I have to find a way to intimidate him. Well, I did a little bit of research on his Instagram page, and I found a video of him trying to take an ice bath. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So here's my plan. If I can successfully take an ice bath tonight and send Sam Query the video, I will get in his head and show him that I mean business and I'm gonna win that game tomorrow. Either that or he's gonna think I'm really weird for sending him a picture of me taking a bath. Well, let's give it a shot. right now. Sam Query, I will see you tomorrow. All right, so we made it to California. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Sam Query. I'm sure you remember, but we've actually met before. I don't remember. I'm gonna pull out a picture. In 2008, <laughs> at the US Open, me and my dad uh, ran into this this young, good-looking wow. guy. I should have remembered that. I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> you were a just a massive jerk. So ever since then, I've been training to beat you at a sport. Not really. You were oh, actually really nice. So here's the challenge. Okay. We've got four levels. If you beat us in all four levels, we will be donating $1,000 to the charity of your choice. Level one, you're going to play me in a game of pickleball singles. Okay. I like this. Oh, that's a great serve. One zero. It's all right. I'm just letting you get a couple points. All right, so he's pretty good. It's all right. I'm killing you. No, it's only four nothing. Six zero. You want to switch sides? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a side problem for you. My 
<laughs> we feel good for the next tournament. Closest 11-0 I've ever played. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, so Sam won challenge one. He got lucky. He won 11-0. Challenge two. Can I have your uh, your paddle, sir? Yes. This is your new paddle for the match. It is a practice paddle. It's about maybe a third the size of a normal paddle. Good luck. All right. Good luck to you. My wife's name's Sam, so it feels weird. I put you in my phone as Query just so I didn't like yeah. accidentally text you like, "Good morning, babe." Please don't do that. I won! One point. All right, level two, 11-4. 11-4, yeah. I got some points. You did, you, you hit some really good shots early. It was a close 11-4, so yeah. you're making progress. Level three, you can have your paddle back. Thank you. I'll take this back. We're gonna be playing a little two against one. All right. So you're gonna be over there by yourself and I'm gonna be with Steve. All right. I'm gonna be honest, is I don't Steve know. Is Steve good? No, I, I don't know if this is actually this gonna be, be harder. harder. Yeah. <laughs> I think level three might be easier than level two, All but right. we'll give it a shot. No offense, Steve. <laughs> I'm taken. Did I say something to offend him? Or? I just was making sure you're paying Level four is the toughest one, at least I think so. It's gonna be you on one side against me and my dad. Now my dad's a better pickleball player than me. Okay. So I think we might have a chance to steal the thousand dollars from the charity of your choice. It's like a, your dad's Steve 2.0. Yes, so. new and improved, or older. <laughs> older, but better? A little bit better. I would have had it. I would have. Well, you beat us in all four challenges. So we will be donating $1,000 to the charity of your choice. We have one fifth and final challenge for you. All right, Sam, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. 